Welcome back to Turkey Trippin' 2023. It is May 16th and I am back in Eastern Colorado to pursue these turkeys. I spent about two weeks at home doing family things and whatnot, and now I've got about two weeks left of the season. So currently I'm just doing a little trolling. I just went through a piece of public and now I'm kind of going through the private, heading to another piece of public and then into the area I plan on hopefully getting in back in contact with those uh, those birds I was messing with when I left so I left on Wednesday almost two weeks ago today it's Tuesday so hopefully they're roosted in the same spot tonight because if they are I've got a plan to try to, to try to get them and there's a big old snake right there oh it's one of those corn snakes let's take a look Hope he gets out of the road before somebody else drives by. So if those birds are uh, where they've been roosting, I'm gonna get up really, really early and try to get out there and get in their path because I think I know, got them figured out, I think I know how they're gonna wanna move when they come off the limb since I was there two mornings in a row. What I don't know is what what's the hunting pressure been like? Are they gonna be there tonight? Blah, blah, blah. So we'll find that out tonight. And currently, the cottonwood trees have a lot more green on them than they did before. They were almost bare, but there's obviously been some rain out here. I can see washes in the road. I can see ruts in the road where people have driven through the mud. There's still some mud around. There's still some puddles. And so everything's a good bit greener. It doesn't take much in eastern Colorado, western Kansas to get things going and turned green here. So it's mid-May. It's definitely late season turkey hunting okay, we're going through a, a mud hole right here so there could be a little bit of change in stuff it's going to be a little greener there's a lot more leaves on the trees there could be some puddles i don't know about that could throw a monkey wrench in for tomorrow morning because part of my plan is to capitalize on a, a water tank that i think the turkeys are using I'm not gonna go after those birds that I'm I'm after today. I'm gonna to hunt somewhere else and then see if those birds are where I'm hoping they're gonna to be tonight. We'll get to where we're going and we'll get out of our civvies and, and jump into something else and, and jump in the woods somewhere and probably mostly just hang out. It's still really, really open out here. I don't know how effective a lot of walking's gonna be. So we'll try to get into somewhere, hunker down and hopefully catch a cruising tom because it is it should be that time of year where toms are cruising i've been slow walking from this ridge top looking down into this creek bottom i haven't seen anything and that's an ominous sky over there so then i dropped down into an adjacent creek So I start kind of heading back to the car in case that rain comes over the top. I'm calling and looking along the way. And I'm going to talk over myself right here because the wind blew this out completely as you can see. I couldn't tell what direction. So what I'm saying is I was back by the car, I heard a gobble in the distance, it came in on the wind, and so I'm heading in that direction and it's a long way off. It seems like it's up in the hills over here, and so I just keep moving forward, looking, creeping over the edges of each of these little rises, and trying to find this bird. He got one again. That sounds like he's up here. somewhere on the other side of this creek bottom but I don't know if he's up on the high ground if he's down in the brush I'm trying to think of where I could go to possibly 
possibly sit down and call, but man, it is so open. I got eyes on him. He's in a bad spot for me right now. Oh, I see a hand over there too. I can't tell what she did. It looked like she went right past him. He's still strutting. Well, we'll have to turn you off for a while. I'm not sure what I can do. I'm kind of stuck in the open. He's got high ground and visibility on me. He moved a little bit, so right now I'm kind of going straight at him with a few trees between us. I end up sitting on this big cottonwood, but then the hen and the gobbler move off to the left, so I get up and follow them. The rain has really cleared out this creek bottom, and so it's really easy, really quiet walking. I find a spot where I can go up an old cattle trail and get right in next to a big tree. So I'm sliding in real tight, trying to be stealthy. Eventually I get set up. right on the other side of those distant cottonwoods out there. Which puts them just inside 200 yards, but I don't have a whole lot of vegetation or cover to work with. He's still gobbling. But he still seems like he's in the, he still seems like he's in the same spot. This guy's doing a lot of gobbling over there. Boy, you'd think he'd be hoarse by now. He's just letting them rip. Sounds like he might be getting further away from me. Eventually I decide I'm gonna get back in the creek and make a move. This sitting here waiting on them is not working. I need to get more aggressive like I used to in the past. I seem to be a little passive this year. Sometimes it works in my favor where it's actually patience, but sometimes it's too passive as well. So as I'm making my move, I can tell this guy is getting further from me. I'm not gaining any ground, he's clearly drifting off. So I get to those distant cottonwoods, and I creep up under this one, and I pop up and start looking around on this little flat plateau up here. This is right where he was strutting from. I'm not seeing anything, so I adjust my position to get a little bit better concealment on this tree and start calling. a 
red head sticking up through the grass. So I start getting low to the ground. If you look in this circle, you'll see a black dot up here. That's my man.
Yeah, baby. Rio down. Thunderstorm's coming in. I don't know if you can see it, but this is a little rise right here. It, uh, like I'm up on a little flat right where I'm walking right now. And it drops down probably eight feet. And he was just right over there gobbling, and he gobbled, and I thought he was a long way away. And I had my head kind of up looking, and all of a sudden, I hear him gobble over here, and he sounded maybe a little closer. And I looked up, and there's a freaking red head I'm looking at through the grass. And he came up inched closer and closer boy did that take a long time to inch <laughs> closer and closer and closer that took a while here we have us a lovely lovely rio decent weight look at this nice bird nice bird Got a beard on him Funny thing is, he actually doesn't have any spurs. Just the little bumps right there. Both sides. I mean, those aren't even Jake's spurs. Those are like really young Jake spurs. Clearly, he's not a Jake. gonna get ringed on maybe maybe a little my best is still over there where I was so he was up here somewhere gobbling he came with the hen along this top and that's what I, where I was looking at him from across the way over there good ways he was up here strutting and so when I heard him get quieter and quieter I decided to run up the creek bottom get to where he was gobbling from and and call to him and sure enough man that was it that's got him to come in he sounded a long way away and he was just over this hill he was when he was gobbling he was only 125 from me tops he's just right over this lip wow wow got a nice snoot on this dude look at that snoot I'm gonna collect up my bird and my gun and get over to my vest, get them into my turkey carrier and get back to the car. If it's gonna be kind of doing this on and off. Oh, gotta do my tags. Gotta do my tags before we move anything. Hang on here. All right, we are all legal beagle now. Oh man. Kind of looks like we're gonna get just enough to get a little bit wet and then it may pass right over. where I crept up the first time got right up on here and he was gobbling up there on that flat right where I killed him at a rainbow going so now it's picture time got a beautiful setting a beautiful bird what an awesome afternoon it was here in eastern Colorado got us a double rainbow So now it's time to work our way back to the car without sliding down the hill in the mud and busting my butt. That 
That was a really fun hunt and a really nice bird. This is what he weighed in at, and this is about where his beard was, about eight and three quarters. This hunt wasn't one where I just jumped in that afternoon and had success within a few hours. I'd already been in that area for two and a half days before I went home for my two week uh, family time. So it wasn't that I was working on no information. I already had information of where they kind of liked to be. I was just hoping it was still valid and that in the two weeks they haven't been pushed out, left, overhunted, pressured out or anything like that. So now it's on to South Dakota. Hope you liked this video. If you did, give us that thumbs up, hit the subscribe button down there, and as always, thanks for watching.